Hey, welcome to this episode of What Games We're Playing. A little bit better, I guess. Well, uh, of, yeah, like I said, what games we're playing this week. Uh, this month, actually, in light of Halloween coming, we are playing nothing but horror games. Joey's favorite. Um, if you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below, and let us know what you guys are playing. But uh, let's just jump into this one and get it started, because I've been playing some good games, and I know you must have been playing some good ones. <laughs> oh yeah, favorite. Tons. Tons. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, what have you been playing? I got in isolation. Uh -huh. I don't like it. Why? It's too scary. Way too scary. <laughs> I don't like it at all. I don't like it at all. Did the alien make you jump? <laughs> oh yeah. It's, it, I've only seen the alien once. Oh uh yeah? -huh. And it's made me jump more times than I can count. <laughs> okay? Let's put it that way. You know, just on a side game. note, we have to just film you playing these horror games sometimes yeah, like because it. you are priceless and like then it. people can believe you and then you just hear like Joey it. sitting there. <laughs> I don't out of like nowhere, it. you're like, he's doing it again. I don't like it. I don't like it. Is it a good game though? It's 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 good game. It, yeah. it, it makes me feel like I'm on that spacecraft or space station with the alien. That's good. I don't like it. I don't, think that I, <laughs> I, don't like, I don't like that it makes you feel that way. See, I remember I, I played a little bit of it way back when, and I thought it, yeah, the atmosphere was great. Yeah. I like the dark with the, the psh, and the doors open, the yeah, steam yeah, rises, yeah. and I just, uh, it took, me a while, <laughs> like it took, it. Me, took me a while to get into it, because nothing really happened until <laughs> the alien, and then it's, no. you're waiting around all the time, it's like, oh, well, I'm going to make this step. Then it's like insta kill because nothing yeah. can really hurt him. I, mean, I think the flamethrower can stop him, but yeah, that's the flamethrower. Yeah. Oh, okay. I haven't made it very far. No? <laughs> I've been playing it for a few hours now. I've made it very far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I pause a lot. <laughs> I, I I have to get catch my. Do uh... so you play with the lights on? Yeah. 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 Door open. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm like prime target. <laughs> like the door is open. Something can just rush in there. I'm looking for the nearest window. I'll tell you that much, though. So. <sighs> <laughs> Every time. <laughs> I don't care. Well, Doors are still inside. I'm running outside. I'm nice. going through that window. Nice. <laughs> Face first, bro. So Halloween's already got you. It's <laughs> yeah, early off in October. He plays oh, Alien yeah. Isolation and I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Halloween's over, bro. It's Christmas follows. Yeah, I don't, I don't love Christmas. Lights, yeah. candy canes all around. And... Yeah. Uh, you know, some can I, I guess I like candy canes, but I don't like peppermint. Oh. Oh, I'll, they... I'll, I'll, like, I'll eat a peppermint candy cane just because it's candy. Uh, it's... But. <laughs> I just can't get over the fact that adult that's scared of a game still. <laughs> Terror <laughs> Sleeping with the scared, lights bro. on. It's not scared. <laughs> it's terrified. I don't like that game. Mm -hmm. I don't like it at all. I, I like know. it. I, I like the it? game. I like the I like. I like it. I like because it's true to form, but. You know that a lot of it looks it. like the aesthetics from the first movie. <laughs> I don't like it. With the, 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 the screens and everything being yeah. those like CT monitors or whatever, and then like all the buttons. I noticed it has a very aesthetic look, like it was in the movie. Yeah. And I I, I appreciate that. Like I really do because Aliens was a great movie. Or Aliens, sorry, was a great movie. My only issue with the game that I found was, again, nothing really happens unless the alien's around. Like, you're just doing the same things. And, I mean, I remember when it first came out, they were talking about how the alien, the xenomorph, has its own kind of mindset where it you does. can sometimes be sitting there waiting like three minutes, four minutes for him to leave the area you're at. Yeah. Which is, that's great. You know, I love the concept of, you know, you have to hide in lockers or whatever it be. And you got to not make noises or else he's going to hear you, smell you, whatever it be. I like that part of the game, but for me it was just, you know, as a 12 hour campaign, it should have been six. 12 hours in that yeah. game? It should have been about six though, because <laughs> it just kind of seemed to revert to <laughs> it itself. Like four the hours of this game, game. at the beginning. But yeah, but, the, beginning, but the, the game I thought was was good, but I, I played it years ago. I just remember that whole, the atmosphere of it just being enclosed. But it goes with everything, I like like even horror movies where people are like stuck in a farmhouse, like Night of the Living Dead type thing. I like that claustrophobic feel. No, I don't. No, I do. And that's why I, I think it brings the horror out in the game, not necessarily the monster that's actually in front of you. 
It's just that feeling. Yeah, like if I was ever in one of those situations, I guarantee I'd be the first dead. Yes, you would. I, I guarantee it, bro. <laughs> like, I'll put money on it. Like, if I'm in that situation, I'm just running. I'm, I... Well, I, yes. Yeah, I'm just running. But I, I know I'm going to die. It's like the rules of Zombieland number two or something, cardio, but you don't have cardio. <laughs> I don't have cardio. <laughs> I'm done in, like, five steps. You're like, like perfect, okay, I'm done. You're, like, I'm the perfect done. character to have in a horror movie. <laughs> He's running. You can run faster. They'll get him first. It gives <laughs> Seriously. you time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm tripping somebody. See, I, I, I don't know. I, I'm tripping I somebody. Personally, you should be playing the game that I'm playing on the PlayStation. And literally, it's uh, it was it was a near a launch title. I remember watching a thing on uh, E3 like years ago about it. You play in like an alternate history London in 1886. It's very steampunk. Yeah. And uh, you play as, as an Part of this, this member of the Order of Knights, and your job is to hunt down evil. Yeah. Werewolves, vampires, whatnot. It's, I'm playing the Order 1886. Yeah. You know what? Even though it's like, what, five, six years old, the graphics are still great. The mechanics are great. It's a third person shooter, cover base, everything. But you have yeah. melee in it too. And then I, I didn't play it when it first came out, and I don't know why. I'm like, it's, it's, it's fun. And it's, it's got like a story that goes with it. You have like rebels that are against the government in it too. But as the story basically goes is since King Arthur, there's been a good and evil battle, right? But now with in 1886, the age of the industry of revolution kicked in. And now humans have the technology to fight back. And that's kind of what it is. Like you got these kick-ass rifles that have like, one of them has like an like electricity thing with like a Tesla thing. It's a really good game. Um, I just appreciate it because there's not many games you play where you fight werewolves. If you really think about it. What the wolves? A vampire. You don't really fight werewolves, though. Like, they're not, like, your main enemy. These ones you're fighting, like, human form. There's a lot of werewolves and vampires. There's some. It's a couple bosses. But this game, it's... Literally, it's, it's that's all you're basically fighting, though. Yeah. And it's cool, because, like, they are hard to kill, but then you can do the takedown, like, melees. It actually look pretty cool as you do them, yeah. too. But there's certain parts where it's almost like you're in a fighting game. Yeah. It's like a quick time event, but it makes you feel that way. Like he's already a big, mon like monstrous werewolf, and he's slicing at you, and you gotta dodge behind him and stab him a couple times with the knife, and it goes on for a little bit. Um, I I thought it was great. I mean, there's How references stupid in there. Would you have to be though to go against a werewolf it's with their a job. knife? Well, it's, it's your it's job. I quit. It's not like Crocodile Dundee. It's you. It's the only weapon you have on you because he knocks your rifle away and you're stuck, trapped in a room. But no, it's it's <laughs> the best response. It's your job. You it's your do job. It. <laughs> you get out there with your knife. It's oh, you're like, I don't give you a butter knife, all right? No, yeah, it's a big knife. That's not a knife. This is a knife. <laughs> no, that's fun. Oh it's it's fun. The only issue I have with it really is it was so linear and short. Yeah, but like again, I, I a short game like that. Like I want, I want length to my game. Yeah, this was about honestly. I, could, I, I think I beat it in six hours. Oh yeah. Which again, relative, it's a very short game. Yeah. As for replay value, I really didn't find much replay in it because mm -hmm. there isn't much. Like once you're done it, you're done it. Um, I found it worthwhile though to sit down for the evening and just kind of I jumped into it and just kind of played only two sessions of it next thing I knew it was over which was good because it was a the story was good enough to keep you going like right off the yeah. get-go it's like the opening screen they're seeing you are literally being drowned by like guards yeah because they think you're a werewolf and it's you escaping from prison and then it's like but then it goes like you know time passed like, yeah. like earlier two years yeah, before right or something like that those guards. it shows you as like one of the members of these order and you're going yeah. out taking out criminals that have escaped from a, a prison and some of them become werewolves and the people know about this too so you're like you're like the king shit walking with your group around so like, yeah. oh, they're going in there to get them and it kind of builds off of that and as you play through you get like different weapons and everything but it's cool like they use this alternate history because you're in 1886 and all of a sudden there's zeppelins in the sky and you know you're like like taking these they're looking over london at this point in time and seeing just everything happen as it goes and you know, there's there's parts where you're walking through factories or the sewers, and there's just dead bodies everywhere. And That's why I don't go it, to the sewers. It kind of just it was a really cool concept of a game, yeah. and I, I really enjoyed my time playing with it. I just wish that there was legitimately there was more. 
Yeah. I don't think multiplayer would have done anything to this game. I really don't. It is a single player experience. Like yeah. there should be no co op story, no anything like that, no multiplayer to yeah. for death matches. I just was hoping that there would be a little bit more to it because yeah. they, they kind of really do leave you where you're like that was fun, but I don't want to play everything again. Yeah, you know. So that's what I've been playing on the uh, on the PlayStation. But I've also been playing a game where you say you got a jump scare playing Aliens. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So me and my wife, me and my wife have been playing a VR game, and I don't really play VR games too much, right? Uh, we've been playing. Uh, it was an earlier game too. It was like 2016, I think it came out. Um, Blood Rush. Yeah, I played. That. I don't like it. Uh, you know what? I don't like it. We got into it. I don't like it. Game, man. Sitting on that roller coaster, just shooting <laughs> psycho, like psycho coasters. clowns, ghosts. The spiders caught me off guard. I don't like roller coasters. I don't like jumps. That game, to me, was like, just why? Because it's a, I why think am it's I playing? great. You know what? Even though the graphics are not top of the line, to par, you know you what? You feel like you feel it. You do feel that. Like... You, you, my wife has screamed a few times. Oh, yeah. There's a part where you're playing and... Nothing's happening, like the lights are going off by a slaughterhouse, and all of a sudden you look yeah. next to you, and there's two ghosts all yeah, of a sudden appear. Like, she had a good scream on that one. Yeah, I didn't like that part um, either. Because I, I was like, looking like, okay, like, what's going to happen? Right? Yeah. Like, right? And then I just see it, and it's, ah! Yeah, I think, you know what? I think it's, it's, it wasn't good. It's just an outright fun game. We've played quite a few nights in a row of it. See, but. You and me have a different kind of fun. Yeah, my dog scared me. <laughs> So I was totally immersed in this game. I had the headset on, oh everything going for me. I was rocking through it. I was playing a board where you're basically running through like a slaughterhouse, and you yeah. eventually all these pigs reanimate and they're bouncing around. And I'm I'm downstairs in the house by myself. And all of a sudden, my dog jumps on my lap. <laughs> See, no, but it, you know what I feel like. No. <laughs> that, that's the feeling I get every time. No yeah, matter what. the only time it caught me. Because no I'm freaking, the game room door is closed. My dog's upstairs. No one's in the house. Yeah, he got in my room. <laughs> in the room and just jumped square on my lap. And my dog is not a big dog at all. But he's very hyper. I would have and shot he my got pants. me pretty good on that one. I would have shot my pants. I, no, pro I probably would have punched your dog. I probably would have punched him. No, I just no, no, no lie. Like just out of sheer reflex, like I would have felt horrible, horrible. No, but like just out of sheer reflex, like something's touching me, like so. Well, usually, like attack. Usually when he comes in, you know, you could hear the clippity clop of his nails yeah. on the ground and everything. You got the headphones. I had everything on. Yeah. Like, I had them on like high. Like, I love him. I love him uh. to death. Like. I would feel horrible because he's like this big. He got me good though. Like, I was sitting there, I literally like, yeah, here we go, oh here we God. go, here we go. All of a sudden, jumping dog on me. Yeah, I would have, yeah. I would have screamed like the little girl. I no, would have screamed it and ran. It was close. It was very close. And there's no windows in your room. <laughs> then, you know, he looks at you. He's like, <laughs> but no. I, I, besides that part, I've literally been enjoying that game so much. It's just been. One, no pun intended, roller coaster ride after another, yeah, trying to yeah. get the high scores. And you know what? Like I said, even with the graphics not being like to par as the realism there, it's a, it doesn't matter. It's like when that little, spider comes like down to one point in time, it's like boom, when he grabs like the those white mask guys and brings them back up. I'm like, oh um, man, I, I gotta shoot spiders. Part. You can choose where you want to go. I just got put down and like said like here you go. I never got well, to pick. See, I was a big fan. They of, know me. I was a big fan of the actual yeah. like the the that horror interactive experience game yeah. uh, until dawn. Yeah. And like everything comes from that. Yeah. So when this came out, I was like, you know what, this looks seems pretty cool. Well, I want to try it out. And again, I'm not into VR games at all. I played like a handful of them, but this one just it's just fun. You know, I think it's, it's it's a fun game. Like, you just, there's not much to it. All thing you really do is get your other guns. You know, you shoot these purple boxes. There'll be a double barrel on each side. You got to get her. I think there's a submachine gun or pistols, whatever it be. But you're just, like, constantly, like, looking around behind you. And I, I like that feeling of having, being immersed and seeing what's behind, what you've already passed by. Yeah. And especially when it's, like, certain rooms you go through. You're just like, oh, shit. You turn around, all of a sudden, there's a guy right in front of your face. Yeah, you're, like, like wicked. That's not wicked, though. That's not wicked. It is. It's a way that you're getting fully immersed like, into a game. I'm about to die. Yay. No, that's not wicked. Oh, this guy. 
I don't know what your term wicked means. I don't know. But mine's mean. not, oh yeah, I'm gonna die. But you know what? This for is for amazing. a Halloween game, though, I would definitely say people should play that as a party game. Have some people that want to play that. Just, you know, make sure your dog's put away. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Oh. So, what else have you been playing, though? Daisy. I wanted to play that. I installed it, but I just didn't play it. I wanted to play it since, like, it was like that. Ar what was it? Arma? Ar Ark? No, no. It was a. It was a port from a different game. I want to say Arma, or something like that. So bad with names. I'm gonna get roasted one day for yeah. my like for my knowledge of names, like my memory of names. But it was a port from that. Like I saw like footage of it. And I want to play it. Mm -hmm. It's like one of those like survival zombie games. Mm -hmm. I finally put it on. I'm looking for people. My main goal was to find somebody else in this game. Yeah. So I put it on. I hear people. I hear shooting. I'm running for about a half an hour, bro, <laughs> towards like this gunfire. Never saw a single soul. Saw some zombies. The zombies destroyed me. Really? Oh yeah. Like it, so they see. Like, this is like a hardcore. Is it a hardcore mode or is it just hardcore because it's like you shoot them in the head, they drop, the bodies they don't drop? I didn't have a gun. Oh, okay. Yeah, you have to find your guns. You have to find everything. Everything. It's a true survival game. Yeah, so like oh. you have to go in the houses, like all these houses were empty as well. It was pissed me off. <laughs> so like I'm, I'm running around for a good half an hour trying to find somebody. Mm -hmm. No, going in houses, sneaking around zombies. Yeah. Then one saw me. And these assholes, they chase you, bro. Like, Are they fast uh, moving? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, I remember right when I first saw the game, like, the zombies, they were just there. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? It was more about finding people and messing around, like, either attacking people, finding yeah. people to survive with, like, that kind of stuff. That's what I was going into this game thinking. Mm -hmm. So, when I first saw a zombie, I said, like, okay, this is nothing. Yeah. The walk towards me, I could run faster than that. No, I am sneaking, like, you know what I mean? And then one saw me, so I was like, okay, whatever. This thing charged at me. Like, charged. And it was, and then, like, I, I guess it made noise, so all the rest just charged at me. So I'm running down the street away from these zombies. They don't stop, bro. They don't <laughs> stop. So I'm running, no weapons. I, I was killed more often by zombies. Uh -huh. it's like, I, I've seen more. That's all I saw was zombies in this game. Well, it kind of makes sense in the zombie apocalypse, though. Yeah, but still, you think I see more survivors than zombies? How big is this <laughs> map, bro? Like, where do people chill? They're probably smart and they hide. But <laughs> you die, they, they scavenge what you have, and then they come out. One thing I didn't really get was it's a multiplayer game. Mm -hmm. Like, you want, they want you to play with your friends. And yeah. stuff. If I go into this world, I have no map. I have no way of knowing where I am when I spawn it. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know where I am. The, all the names are Russian, I believe. Mm -hmm. So I don't know the names of these towns. I, I, have, tr I have trouble pronouncing English words sometimes. Yes. I'm not pronouncing no Russian words. <laughs> so how, like, how do you find your friends? Like, how do you find each other? I guess over headsets you say, hey, there's this building here. Where we, hey, we I'm in this meet. town. Come find me. Oh, well, basically. <laughs> I'm, I'm, in a, I'm in a town with a house. Come find me, bro. <laughs> okay. It works. <laughs> like, that's what I mean. Like, bro, half an hour. If I can't find some, if I'm following gunshots and I can't find people, mm. how am I going to find someone that's like... Oh, are you going to stick with the game for a bit and see? I don't know. I don't know. I want to jump in and try I, I want... I want if I do, I want to try to find out how to like join with friends and stuff so you spawn with each other or yeah. so you can find them. Other than like, I don't find it very appealing to play by myself. Not one of those type, I guess, you know, you... It is a good game, yeah. but I'd rather play it with somebody than by myself. Well, chances of survival will be better too at that point, as long as you're playing friends and not friend foe. Well, Back to our original thing we started with. He's good to be in a horror movie with, because he'll get caught. <laughs> Gives you extra life. Try <laughs> running in the field for a bit. You know, James, there's zombies. Just run, run in the field for a bit. Just let, just let me see what happens. Okay. <laughs> no problem, bro. 
<laughs> you got my back, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. hundred percent. Rub it the other way. I do want to try it out, though. But, so, I've only been playing one other game this week because yeah. I've been doing a whole bunch of other things and I'm just getting over a cold and stuff like that. But, uh, on the Xbox, though, I jumped on Game Pass and, you know, I decided, check out that Blair Witch game. I remember in the past, like in the early 2000s that's and that's stuff, that's 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 they had other games come out that were they were okay on PC. Yeah. I, like, I, remember, I, I don't remember too much, honestly, about them. I remember I played them and was like, ah, you know what, they're okay for what the franchise is, blah, 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 played them. Yeah. and Kind of reminded me of the old school um, Alone in the Dark game. That doesn't sound appealing either. See, I'm, I got mixed feelings towards this game so far. Alone in the Dark. That game I would probably buy. I don't know, they were good. They were good. <laughs> doesn't with, sound like I want to buy it. But with Blair Witch, I have mixed feelings on it. Because it's not a bad game. If you're into the survival, horror, solving puzzles type thing, like you play as an ex officer, Officer Ellis. Yeah. And you have a companion with you, which is your dog, Bullet. Oh, uh, okay. Which was actually pretty cool because you actually bond with him as the game goes on. Yeah. And you kind of need each other. Oh, of course. Well, you know, you do because so you're searching in, um, uh, what's it called? In the Black Hills Forest, for which is in Burkittsville, where Blair Witch Project movie yeah. came from, for a missing boy back in 1996. Okay. Right? So you're looking for clues, stuff like that. And as you're, go you're, you're traveling through this world, your dog is kind of the one that finds tracks or clues that you have to use as you go Does along. Does the dog get hurt? I, I, I can't tell you. Oh. It's part of the story, how everything unfolds, right? I would like to get um, the dog not hurt. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get better. See, here's the thing is you need the dog, though, because like the atmosphere of the game is really cool. Yeah. Like, you find, like, sort of... You'll hit points where it's like, well, what the hell do you do next? And you'll, yeah. like pick up a camcorder and watch this video that was already done kind of Blair Witch-esque yeah and all of a sudden it'll show like a pathway that wasn't there before so you, you, you go further and further and further and you'll hear sounds in the woods and obviously lighting plays a big factor and especially at nighttime we just have your flashlight and you think you see shadows move and and whatnot but even the enemies though like shadows don't move bro I think I see a shadow moving it's it a... well that's the thing though because <laughs> the enemies are technically I guess invisible Oh. So the only thing that hurts them is, is light. So you're using your flashlight, but you got to use your dog because you can sense them. It kind of, the combat kind of threw me off. Like it wasn't really one of those ones you immerse yourself in well because all of a sudden you'll see, you'll hear your dog and you, you'll turn your flashlight this way and all of a sudden it goes, and the thing will like run away another way. So you're just kind of, honestly, I was just going in circles whenever that dog would start barking. So that, kind of, that part kind of took me out of some of the, um, some of the gameplay. But it's cool because as you're playing as Ellis, you're literally watching him slowly mentally break down through like different things that happen. Like he literally starts going into like these like different visions in his head and stuff like that. That's what's cool. And this is where your dog comes into play because you're so bonded to him that you need him to help you kind of get out of these. And you gotta make like, it gets, it gets pretty tense at times. Back to, I don't want to ruin it. Cause you will, I know you will probably play this eventually. Even though, because it's not really a horror game. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. It's not really a horror game. I really think you like it because <laughs> your dog, and you have, yeah. this dog is, like, you have to pet him, you have to take care of him, yeah. all these things, right? Like, you can also hate him, and the story unfolds a little bit different. So a lot of the bases around it. You hate a dog. There's options, like, not pet your dog and stuff like that. What? <laughs> Fuck you, dog. <laughs> But I think the game is, you know what, it does stand true to, I guess, what the Blair Witch Project was. Like, it has that unseen horror, yeah. in a way. Like, you'll be walking, like I said, all of a sudden you'll see, like, the the Blair Witch like, symbol, like, hanging from a tree, you're like, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> like, one I of those. I symbol. Oh, oh, this is your hood. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry, I'm no, sorry. No, you'll see, like, piles of rocks and stuff like that, so it's like you... It builds you because it's like, okay, you know something's out here, but you don't know where it is. But your job is you're literally trying to find this boy. The kid's dead. <laughs> Straight guns. Joey the hero. <laughs> Go back to the family. Yeah, your kid's dead? Sorry to tell you this, but it was in a scary forest. You know, just did some math. That's the thing. The forest honestly does feel like it has it. Like it's like living in its own way, too. It's really weird. It kind of... It almost brought me not to think of Blair Witch as much as playing like an Evil Dead from Evil Dead the movie. Yeah. Like that, how the force is kind of, it's alive. It's not though, but it feels like it is because the way the camcorders work to like yeah, show definitely. you pathways and stuff. And it's, it's that part though that you're just like, it's kind of cool because you're solving these puzzles that 
that you go further, but it's not like it's, you're not like, you know, I got to find like this key with, you know, this gear set to do it. You're solving it yourself by putting yeah. clue after clue together and like rewinding videos to see like little pieces that are, that you might be missing. Never. Never. I actually thought, you know what, for that type of gameplay, it made the game it, good. It sounds like a good gameplay. It is. It, it, it's there was a little things I said brought me out of it because a lot of the stuff you're doing is backtracking a lot. Yeah. I hate that in games, um, and a lot of like nonsense conversations you have with like the, the, the other like the searching police and stuff like oh, that. But, 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 but you don't know. But you don't know. people living in this world. Yeah, but you don't know though. Get out. The video camera will show like for example like oh there's two officers in a car right here and they're talking to somebody yeah. and then you get to where they are and you'll see like a tree that's been broken down but like a house off in the distance but it's the same area but like things have changed Don't go to it's, it's weird it's just it's really weird but for a halloween game and for the length of time that it actually took it was honestly i think it was like eight hours nine hours to beat it definitely i would say anybody who likes horror movies anybody who liked blair witch project okay. i would literally say it is literally worth a try to play at night okay so I, I don't have to try it then no you don't have to i'm oh, okay you should yeah, I, I, I think people. it's. I think it's. I think it was a very well put together game. Yeah. Obviously with flaws, and I think if they made like not to say a sequel, but another game like that, yeah, I think it would be amazing. Yeah, like you could see like the the the, the, the love they had for the for like the movies. Yeah, and you can see they tried new things. Some of them worked. Some of them didn't. Yeah, the companionship with the dog was a great idea, and obviously like you know you need your dog in order to find certain clues, mm -hmm. certain tracks, this and that. But at times it almost became cumbersome because you had to be close to him. So it took away from some of the exploring unless you wanted to backtrack. And, and he'd be around you, but sometimes it would be a delayed reaction to when you're whistling for him. See, that, that's the whole thing. Like, in real life, I know for a fact if there was like a zombie, if there's anything involved <laughs> with scary sh like stuff and my dog, like, oh, it was apocalypse stuff or like, I gotta go to some scary, I guarantee I'm dying. Just because, like, I'm, I'd be more so protecting my, like... Really? Yeah, like, zombie apocalypse. So, Anna barks. Like, my dog barks. I'm dead. Okay, so, do you remember that movie, Idle Hands, where Buddy pushes his dog's butt out to see what's in the living room? Yeah, no. Okay, that would be me with our dog. <laughs> 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 no, okay, see, your dog's a big dog. My dog's a small dog. <laughs> yeah, but I would eat... Oh, no, see... Yeah, you like, say boo to my dog and he's running into his cage. Uh, At least I would know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh no, like he barks at everything though. Yeah, but Even as soon as you go boo to him, he runs the other yeah. way. <laughs> oh man. Uh, yeah, I would survive terrible. though on that that one fact. Like I wouldn't survive a zombie apocalypse with my dog. He'd be barking at everything and then yeah, running. But I would, like I would take like jump in front of my dog. Like I I'd probably like die so my dog could have more food. I don't think Anna would eat me though. I think she would. I don't think she would. I think she would. She loves me. <laughs> well, have you played any other games this week? Uh, no. No, no. No, no. no. Scary I've... games. Uh, it takes me a while to play them. Um, you know, Alien Isolation took up most of my time trying to walk five feet. Nice. <laughs> yeah, so it's like that. I take it like every five foot, every five feet's an hour. Oh, okay, so you'll be there for a while. <laughs> yeah. So no plans on playing any other games this coming week except for Alien Isolation? Oh, no, no. Oh, God. Oh, God. I haven't really thought about it, to tell you the truth. See, I've been debating on this next coming week, and I really don't know myself. This is like your prime time. This is like the times I dread. Oh, I love, I love this time, but some of the games, though, I'm thinking about having a zombie week, to be honest. I'm thinking about doing Days Gone, uh, Resident Evil yep. 3. Those are two I've been thinking about for a while because I wouldn't mind playing Resident Evil 3 again. And I really haven't played a lot of Days Gone, so I might just start over. Yeah. And check it out. Just do a nice little zombie theme. Huh. Well, I'll, I'll figure out some zombie game. That's not too scary. <laughs> <laughs> Plants vs. Zombies? There we go. <laughs> well, thank you for watching this episode of What Games We're Playing. I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, please leave a comment down below. Let us know what you guys are playing. Give us a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. And uh, subscribe, please. Have a good week. Later, guys.